Find an easy seat. Press your sit bones down into the earth. Lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. Bring those hands either palms down or palms up. Whatever's more comfortable for you. When you feel ready, close your eyes. Take a moment here to bring awareness to the breath, bring awareness to the body, and just be present. Feel the chest rise and fall with each inhale and each exhale. Begin to deepen your breath. Try to match the length of your inhale with the length of your exhale. On your next inhale, bring those arms up over the head, palms touch, exhale to heart center. Take a moment here. Gently blink your eyes open, interlace your fingers, press out, Inhale up over the head. Exhale down. Inhale lift. Exhale down. Inhale lift. Exhale down. Inhale lift. Exhale, bring your left hand to the ground, reach up and over to the right side, getting a nice stretch in the side body. Inhale, lift up to center. Exhale, switch sides, right hand down, lengthen up and over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands down. Switch the cross in your legs. Switch the grip of the hands, make it feel funky. Press out, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take that left hand down, reach up and over to the right side, keeping that right sits bone grounded into the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right arm down, reach up and over with the left side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the arms down, come into a tabletop position. Your knees are hip widths apart. Your shoulders are on the same level with the back of your hands. Shoulder width apart. Gonna go into cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, pull the navel into the spine and roll. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. 
exhale, pull the navel into the spine and roll. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, pull the spine into the navel into the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, roll the spine. Press through those hands. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Exhale, press back into extended child's pose. On your next inhale, roll up the table. Tuck those toes under. Send the hips back. Press back into downward facing dog. From here, you can bring a little life and energy into the backs of the legs, pedaling back and forth. Swing the hips from one side to the other. And then find stillness. Inhale, look forward, step up with the right foot and then the left foot, and let that head hang. Can grab opposite elbows, can twist to one side, twist to the other, whatever feels good. That tension fall away. On your next inhale, we're going to roll up vertebra by vertebra. The head comes up last. All right, we're going to be at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up, palms touch, gaze goes up. Exhale, swan dive forward using a flat back. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the spine, gaze comes forward. Exhale, Back down. Inhale, lift all the way up through flat back. Palms touch. Exhale, arms down. Good. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way back up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend. Exhale, plant those hands down. Step back with the right foot and then back with the left foot into a high lunge or a high plank, excuse me. We're gonna hold for three, two, one. Pre exhale, press back, downward facing dog. At any point, this is too much. You can drop your knees and come into an extended child's pose. That's an acceptable pose anytime throughout the practice. Inhale, look forward, step up with the left and then the right and extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back up through a flat back. 
Exhale, arms down. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back with the, plant the hands, step back with the left foot and then the right foot into a high plank. Hold for three. And two. And one. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Your next inhale, look forward, step up with the right foot, followed by the left foot, and extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, arms down. Good. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend. Exhale, plant the hand, step back with the right foot, followed by the left foot into a high plank. Holding for three, two, and one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your next exhale, disen drop the knees, disengage the feet, extended child's pose. Inhale, come up into table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step up with the right foot. Circle that left foot back. We're gonna come up into warrior two. I'm gonna press forward at that, that front knee, square the hips off towards the side of the mat. You should have a parallel line between your Front heel in the middle of your back foot. Lean into that front leg. Bring the arms up. And look out over the front fingertips. Press hard through those feet into your foundation. Root down to rise up. Exhale, take that front arm to the front thigh, reach up and over with the other arm, opposite arm. Extended side angle. Take that gaze up towards that left armpit. Keep the bend in the front knee. Inhale, come back up to warrior two, keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, you're gonna bring that left arm back down the left. Keep the bend and lift up and back, exalted warrior. Keep 
the bend in the front knee. Remember to breathe. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. You're gonna exhale, extend that front knee. You're gonna reach out with those front fingertips. If you have a block, you can utilize a block. If not, two rolls of toilet paper will do. You're gonna put that right block right there. You're gonna lean out as far as you can. Then you're gonna come into triangle and gaze up at those top fingertips. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend into that front knee. Back into warrior two, gaze out over those front fingertips. Your next inhale, you're gonna cartwheel your hands down. You're gonna turn that left back left foot in. Set that right foot back into a high plank. Three breaths here. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you're gonna step, bring that left foot up behind you and step it through. Circle that right leg down to lift up and over into warrior two. Ooh. <laughs> Bend into that front knee. Make sure that leg, the front, the front heel and the middle of the back leg make a parallel line, a straight line. Take that gaze out over those front fingertips. Press down hard into your feet, root to rise. And breathe. Exhale, bring that front arm down to the front thigh. Keep the bend in the knee. Lift up and over with the opposite arm to an extended side angle. Keep the bend in that front knee. Remember to breathe. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, take that right arm back. Lift up and back into exalted warrior. Remember, keep the bend in that front knee. Reach up with purpose. Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Remember to take your block or your two rolls of toilet paper. You're gonna reach out as far as you can. And when you can't go any farther, you're gonna bring that front arm down and you're gonna come up into triangle. Press down through those feet and breathe. Take that gaze up towards those fingertips if, if accessible.
Remember not to lock that front knee back. Keep a nice strong bend. Inhale, bring those arms back up, bend into warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel those arms down, turn those toes in, and step that left foot back into a high plank. Hold here for three, two, one, press back, downward facing dog. Drop the knees, disengage the feet, extended child's pose. Catch your breath. Inhale, up to table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your next inhale, look forward between your feet. Step your right foot up. In your left and lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Palms touch. Exhale, arms down. We're gonna come into tree pose. It's a couple variations of this, so I'm going to do it sideways. But you're gonna be standing up at the top of your mat. For tree, you're either gonna can use your leg as a kickstand, bring it to your calf or bring it above the knee. Absolutely nothing at the knee joint. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, palms to center, and release. You're gonna grab that left, that right leg up, and you're gonna find a spot for it on the body. Either a kickstand, the calf, or above the knee. You're gonna bring your hands to the heart. You're going to press as much, you're gonna press your standing leg into your foot as much as you're pressing your foot into your leg to create that strong foundation. And we're gonna breathe. If accessible for you, bring those arms up over the head, grow your tree branches. If this doesn't work for you, hands at the heart are fine. And we're gonna breathe. Find a point in front of you that's not moving. Hold your balance. If you lose your balance, it's okay. Just find it again. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Ooh, getting a little windy. Bring that knee in, set it down, and pedal it, pedal your feet out. We're gonna do this on the other side now. I'm gonna bring that 
right leg in, or maybe I said left. <laughs> and you're gonna find a spot. Either you're gonna have a kickstand to the calf or above the knee. Nothing, whoo, low windy, nothing at the knee joint. Remember, press your standing leg into your foot as much as you're pressing your foot into your standing leg. Bring those hands to the heart. If accessible for you, grow those branches. You may notice one side is a little more steady than the other, and that's okay. Bring those hands to the heart. Woo. Bring that knee back in and let it down. Pedal out your feet. <clears throat> We're gonna come back up to the top of the mat. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back into that high plank. Hold for three, two, and one. Drop those knees, disengage the feet, extended child's pose. Inhale up to table, and we're gonna find this, find our way to our backs. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. From here, we're going to do what we have bicycle abs to strengthen the core. You're going to place those hands kind of cupping your ears. You don't want to crank on your neck. We're going to do bicycle abs. There we go. Good. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Try not to crank on your neck. Exhale, drop the feet. Lengthen out if that feels good for you. Take a couple breaths here. We're gonna do that again. Ready? Begin. Remember to breathe. Keep it up. You're almost there. Lengthen out. Catch your breath. From here, we're gonna find bridge. You're gonna bring your heels towards your seat. You're not gonna clench your butt. You're gonna press those legs forward and you're gonna lift. 
Don't turn your head when you're in bridge. Keep looking straight up. Try not to clench your seat and breathe. Exhale, lower back down. Come windshield wiper those legs back and forth. Do not bring your knees into your chest yet. Come bring those heels back towards your seat. We're gonna do another bridge. Inhale, press those legs forward, those shins forward, and lift. Keep your gaze straight up. Keep breathing. Exhale down. I'm gonna do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Make this your best one yet. Keep breathing. Exhale down. <clears throat> Windshield wiper those legs. Bring your heels to your seat. Let the knees fall open. Recline bound angle. we're going to hold. Catch your breath. Bring those hands to the outside of the thighs and gently pull the knees back in together. <clears throat> excuse me. From here, we're gonna bring that right knee, or excuse me, that right shin and cross it over the left knee. If this is enough stretch for you, stay here. If you'd like, bring that leg up and clasp those arms behind that left leg and continue pressing out with that right knee to feel a stretch in the glute. And breathe.
drop that left leg down and uncross that leg. You're gonna take that on the other side. Take your left ankle and cross it over the right shin. Oh, right knee, excuse me. If this is enough stretch, stay here. If you'd like to deepen that stretch, clasp your hands behind the back of your right leg, right thigh, and continue to press that left knee away from you. And breathe. <clears throat> Exhale that leg down and uncross. From here, we're gonna take a spinal twist. You're gonna take those hips up and over to the right side, and then you're gonna drop those knees over to the left. Make sure that your left knee is either in line or above your belly button. You can take that right arm out to the side. And if this is accessible, you can turn that head towards the right, looking out over that right arm. Inhale, come back to center. Place those feet on the mat. Lift your hips up and over to the left side. Bring those knees into your chest and drop them over towards the right. Remember to keep that left knee in line or above the belly button. Feel free to extend that left arm out and towards that. Turn that head towards the outstretched arm. If that's too much stretch, then just keep it looking up. Inhale, come back to center. Place those feet down, realign the spine. And from here, we're going to take our final rest. Take that right leg out towards the right corner of the mat, the left leg out towards the left corner. Palms facing up, reaching down. And close your eyes. Let go of the breath. Come back to a natural breathing. and be in this moment. Nothing to do, nowhere to be but right here on your mat.
so you begin to guide the awareness back. Begin to bring a light, little life and energy back into the fingers and the toes, wiggling them. Feel free to draw your arms up over your head, lengthening out from fingertips to toes. Deep, full body stretch. When you're ready, roll over to your left side, resting your head on your left arm. Take a moment here. When ready, press yourself up into a seated position. Come back to that easy seat that you were in before. You can leave the eyes closed or you can gently blink them open, whatever is most comfortable for you. Gently bow the head towards the fingers. Being grateful for being able to participate in this practice today. your next inhale, draw your arms up over the head, hands, palms touch, hands back down to heart center. I want to thank each of you for joining me today. Um, I enjoyed myself and I hope you did too. Namaste. Thanks everyone. If you enjoyed this, I really hope you did. It's a little warm outside and it's a little bright, but that's okay. It makes it good. Um, if you have any specific areas you'd like to feel stretched or want to have work on, just drop a comment below and I can see what I can do. Thanks, everybody.